so now that we can see uh, who else has joined in before us or which users have joined in before us we can now show here uh, on our chat window uh, which users have joined in by giving a little badge in the middle just like yeah, you can just like you see in whatsapp so let's do that i'm gonna go here and declare a new constant set constant users and set users i want this to be an empty array then um, i'm gonna type constant new message equals i'm gonna say this needs to be an object inside this i'm gonna say type what type of message this is gonna be so this is gonna be a user status and next uh, i need to give a user id this needs to be small which is gonna be our actually we need to loop this because this is going to be an array so let's do that not for a path it's gonna be a user object which is gonna have our uh, our user id inside and the user name This is not going to be inside our object, so I'm going to say constant new message type user ID. I'm going to say user ID, and then actually I don't need this. I'm just I can just say user name. Yeah, so status, and then I'm going to say um, set users. Actually, I need to declare constant over here. Constant users. Let's push. And I'm going to push all these new users. Not users. I need to declare a message. These are not users. Declare a message. So I'm going to say. Um, something like. Mm. Message messages. I need to do this already has, so I need to declare something different. Messages in my own to add dot push. There we go. New message. Okay, now that we have our whole message, I'm gonna quickly set, see, set messages, and then this needs to be an array. First, I need to spread whatever messages there are before. Then, then I'm gonna pass our message array. Yeah, this looks good. Then I need to do set users. So set users, it's going to be users. Okay, that looks good. Now I need to do this as well. I need to pass user ID. I'll tell you why in a later stage. Uh, but first, uh, let's do some corrections because we need to, because uh, we just had only one. Uh, we just had only one string it was username now this is an object let's change that as well and let's go inside our chat go inside our chat header and say user dot username and user dot username nice so we need to put uh messages inside our dependencies Socket from messages. 
and uses this kind of value but never used we'll use that later and once we have push our new message we can uh, design the html now we need a chat now we have a chat header and chat input between that we are going to need chat body so let's design that so here i'm going to put a class name so i need this to be position relative and overflow overflow auto so we can scroll and i'm going to put some custom css into this i want chat height so i'm going to put a custom css here i'm going to index for css i'm going to say chat height here you know want um, height the calculative so can see i want 100 percent minus 20 vertical height i want this to be important so Yeah, after that, I'm gonna name one a div inside here with class name, um, padding four all around. And here I want flex. Oh, sorry, D flex, display flex, and I want flex column. What was the name of CSS? I forgot. Um, so checking the with flex column, yeah. Um, flex, flex column, and inside here, I want um, my messages to be rendered. So let's bring in the messages. Um, messages, yeah, messages that message as in prop comments right here that's in the prop and in the loop in place the map then inside here I want an arrow function and say return here it is gonna be message and the index here i'm going to write message dot type equals equals user status then or i can put just double and or not i want to return a div here so i'm going to write div Save. Otherwise, I want this to be null. So inside here, uh, first of all, I want to write p. I want this div to be unique. So, oops, index, and then I want a class name, and this text center. And then inside this, I want a span. And the span should have a class name, badge, and then BG info. Background is the info color, just the D color. And I want the uh, message dot user ID. I want a condition rendering over here, so I'm going to put brackets if message dot user id equals equals user dot user id. Then, if 
the message ID joins with user ID, then I'm going to say you have joined, that means I have joined. Otherwise, it's going to say the uh, message's username has joined. Right? So, dollar tick, I'm going to say message dot username as boom. So here I need to make another change saying that user dot user id is existing then it should render the chat component otherwise if you don't have the user id then render the login component let's see yep now I'm gonna say Aditya join in then I'm gonna Join in as someone else, say John, and it didn't render for some reason. So, one error over here I forgot to put a spread operator here, and also on the server side, I, I just put the socket ID here. You need to put a uh, you don't need to put the socket ID, you need socket dot user ID. So let's test this now. Let's say right there. Save, you have joined. That's good. And I'm gonna say John. See, Aditya has joined. This is good. But if I go to Aditya, you can see that there is no uh, a message of John joining in. We'll see how we can get this message of John joining in later in the next video.